Hello, I'm Genevieve. This is an intro to Stata. I opened Stata. This is the results window. Mine is empty. Yours will have Stata Corporation information and license information. What I did was go to edit and clear result in my window. At the bottom left of my screen, you can see my working directory. If you want to change your working directory, you go to file and choose change working directory. The help button is right here and you can get information about Stata command. We want to keep track of what we're going to do, so we want to create a log for that. Go to the log I icon and give your file a name and your file will be saved in your working directory. You can see I called mine Stata intro and the extension is automatically SMCL. Now we're going to play with the data set called CPS4. So I go to the command window and instruct Stata to use CPS4. Commands and results show up in the results window. Commands only show up in the review window. Stata has loaded my data set, so now I see the variables name and the description further more properties over here with the number of observations. Very statistic on my data set by typing the command summarized in the command window. I'm interested in the wage data. Another one I like is codebook. I make sure to look at the result I get to see if they make any sense. The mean wage uh, is $20 uh, per hour with a mean of one and a max of 173. I'm not sure what that means. Over here, the 50th percentile means that um, half of my population in my sample has a wedge of 16.6, .6, less than 16.6, .6, and half of them have a wedge higher than that. So that means since my uh, 50th percentile is lower than my mean, that my distribution is skewed, I have higher wage earners who bring up my average or arithmetic mean. I can reuse the command in my review window so I don't have to retype the whole thing. I know the age of individuals in my data set range from 21 to 85 because I've looked at it before. So this is how I would write my codebook command if I wanted to get the statistics for people aged 25 and lower. A quick look at the data indicates that younger people have a lower um, 50th percentile, so a lower wage, and a lower range of wage, which makes sense. Smaller range would be the right term, right? can draw an histogram by going to graphics, histogram. Going to do histogram on wedge. Those are continuous data. Been with five with a lower limit of zero since I have a range of value from one to 173. And I want the percentage of my y axis. Here it is. Like we observed earlier, skewed distribution with those um, bars in the higher earnings, uh, very low, we can't hardly see them. We can save our graph by going to File, Save As, choose a name for it. We can also go to Edit and copy our graph and put it in a Word document, for example. If we wanted to, we could uh, play with only the higher which earners data. For that, we'll go to data, create a change, data, drop or keep in observation. We'll select keep observations and then select only the wedge earner earning more than $50 an hour, equal to or greater than 50. You can see we ended up dropping a lot of observations 
since we are left with only 166. To get back to my original data set, I'm going to type use CPS4 again and, and ask Stella to clear everything else. Back to original data set. Now we want to run a simple regression. We want to regress wedge uh, education. Some of those results might be familiar to you. So R square, 19% of the variation in wages are explained by the variation in education. The estimated coefficient on education tells us that um, each additional year of education leads to $2 increase in wage. If we want to use a log linear or log level model, we need to first transform the wedge data in logarithmic form. I've written this over here, preceding it by a an asterisk, which makes this a comment, not a command. All I need to do to transform my wedge data is use the generic command. Then log wedge is going to be the name of uh, my new variable. And my new variable is formed by taking my wage data and taking the log of it. Now I can run my new regression. The R square hasn't changed, it wasn't supposed to. The interpretation now on the estimated coefficient is one additional year of education would lead to a 9% increase in the wage. Before we finish, I've listed the resources I've used for this presentation and my contact information. Because we added one variable to our data set, we, we might want to save our data set. So we go to File and Save As, and the new data set will be saved in our working directory. Next, we can close our log. So it's log close. Finally, we can keep a record of our command to so we go to the review window, select them all. If we want, we can uh, send them to the do file editor, sort them out before we save them. Or we could just save them all right away. And that's the do file and the extension automatically created for that is DO. This is it. Bye now.